What is up, everybody? This is Recap Rewind. I am Jay Lag, and I'm here with NB Hager. Um, today back to our Friday morning routine. Yeah, we're so excited. I'm actually like this hiatus so was shaking. like legit. <laughs> so like excited. it was too intense for us. It yeah. was like too much. Um, so we're back at Riverdale, back. season one, back to back, episode eight. Yeah, titled The Outsiders, d- 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 which is also they're a movie. still yeah yeah. Exactly. But you got it. You're tip. so smart. Yeah. So let's just get right into it. Let's get into it. Um. So we start off with the sheriff interrogating Polly. Well, there was that little montage in the beginning. Yeah. That cute little like perfect family montage. Yeah. So it's um. We obviously go back to Jugs talking about uh, the facade of like the, the Cooper family essentially. Yeah. And then it kind of slowly I mo- love segues into the sheriff Him talking talking but i love how like in the montage because I wrote, I wrote this down because he was like you know like she was such a good girl yeah and then she like fell in love i'm like no because she got the d she got like she day. was a good girl and then she got the d and then she and like, she's like swerved. I can't help it anymore i was like i was laughing <laughs> so yeah essentially share the sheriff is interrogating polly at um the penthouse yeah and um for the first time ever, Veronica is quiet in an entire scene. Yeah. Like, she doesn't speak the her entire time. Her and her time. mom were pretty much like, they were involved, but they were always like on the outside because yeah. they're sort of trying to like help the situation. Right. They're just kind of like there but for support. But she still has some funny moments, as she always does, oh, Veronica. Oh, later on in the show, yeah. for sure. But this one, she was just like, silence. <laughs> <laughs> silence, Everdeen. Um, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Polly starts crying at the end because yeah. she gets like sad about the fact that like basically her mom like she she talks she tells um she tells the sheriff and we also learned that the reason why Jason like it kind of confirms the reason why he was doing dr- dealing drugs was that like one time deal so he can he could get money get some money for the baby which we kind and of already like away. assumed right but it was like only a one time sitch yeah and um so yeah. She, he tells yeah. he, she tells him that yeah and then it cuts to and then yeah she gets upset because like he's dead now and i mean that's a huge like yeah in all of this <laughs> even in that moment i was like dude like she just lost yeah her, like forget baby daddy but like she lost like her man her like mans. they were like in love and like yeah. they like and she's she still just in high school he's still in asylum. high school like you're still a kid and like yeah. she's going through even just yeah. that grief of like losing him it's a lot uh, like along with all this other shit that's happening a it's shower, pretty crazy for sure um riverdale so real <laughs> so then it cuts to the two boys at archie's house oh my god i died the, and they're just playing some games they're like playing video games i just this scene like i burst out laughing. and then archie's like yes and then jugs is like oh, okay let's do this and then he's like war is hell jugs yeah okay, and like, then calm down, jugs Dougie. is like hell is other people yeah it's like it's you like can see intense. like such a difference between like you know it's like yes He's like playful. and yeah. then and then jugs is like so serious yeah. about life and then, and then fred walks in fred. and he's like what the hell it smells like ass in here <laughs> he's like can someone crack a window he's like sure dad <laughs> he's like got it anytime i'll do that for you oh my god i was dying it was such a random like <laughs> like know. conversation though to have and then he was like oh yeah by the way i'm starting the construction job yeah. tomorrow good night like cool go to sleep early now. they have these little cute little scenes that like i i just feel like are so extra but yeah. they really do add to like the whole like gimmick of like you know father yeah, and son definitely and, like, definitely and like i'm sure they had a spare bedroom like why does he have to like sleep in his room yeah, that's <laughs> you, true. you know real talk <laughs> that's a very good point he's like on the floor <laughs> <laughs> for a juggy he's so cute he's so cute um and then it cuts to the lounge at the high school where everybody yeah, tells where the gossips <laughs> the gossip always like be, gets known like in this room yeah like people over here shit yeah but now we have like the entire crew including cheryl because she's like kind she's of a part so of like cute. the blossom she really wants baby to be a part crew. of like the baby's life yeah. yeah yeah so they're all talking and then essentially like jugs breaks it down she, he's like the blossoms want the baby but not polly and the coopers want polly but not the baby right. so trade off <laughs> they like just switch it out and then um, betty's like yeah, that's pretty much my fam. They're pretty messed up. And then she's like, it's an impossible situation. And the Veronica's like, 
Um, actually, oh an impossible situation <laughs> is she's when like, you're invited to two parties. She's like, and- oh, when you're at the Vanity Fair, she didn't even call <laughs> yeah, it Vanity Fair. She's like, like Vanity, Vanity Flair, Fair Flair. party, <laughs> and Elvis, pre- Elvis like invites you or something, and then Kevin's like, oh, I feel you, girl. Yeah, he's like, she's like, that actually <laughs> happened to me. She's like, this is a situation also, this girl's that's just like 14. Yeah, like how is she getting invited <laughs> to like Oscar after parties? <laughs> Like she's running a lodge. There's like about? some legal like cause for that. Like she <laughs> cannot be there. Elton John wanted her to be there. Okay. I guess she could if the kid from Room could be there. So <laughs> that all makes sense now. So yeah, she's like, this isn't just a merely an annoying situation. Obviously, okay, I'm sorry that your life is like so much harder than everybody else's. <laughs> um, and so she's like, I have an idea. Let me host a baby shower. Right. So Amazing exciting. Idea. Such so a cool. great idea. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't being sarcastic. <laughs> and no, then, it's cute. It's cute. And then Juggs goes, do I have to be oh there? Oh, my God. He- <gasps> guys. Uh, Bughead fans. How excited you guys I get? Swear, I feel like they went back and, like, rewrote scenes just so, like, just- Bughead fans could have, like, boners. <laughs> like, they just, like, rewrote all that. Like, I was like, ah, Oh, I my God. Wait. They're yeah, so, so freaking she's like, your cute. buddy's boyfriend. I was like, ooh. And then Archie, did you see Archie's yeah, face? Yeah, he's like, he's got like that what look. the hell? He's like, mm. And then Veronica like cuts the like tension obviously yeah. again, and she's like, relax, like it's just chill. like the B word, like chill out. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. She's like, it's just a oh, word. They're so cute. Oh my god, I love them. Um, and then Alice comes so Archie, out of for sure. Archie hike. He had. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He felt some type of way for, oh, yeah, sure. for sure. But yeah, and, and then, then Alice Cooper <laughs> <laughs> <He> just <laughs> comes out of fucking nowhere. Elizabeth Cooper. And then she's like, and you. And you, come here. Veronica's like, what, me? She's like, who? Right, I'm going to grab my latte and we'll come here. <laughs> um, and, then, <laughs> and then it cuts to Fred's construction. Mm-hmm. And it turns out that... This guy wears a flannel shirt like every day. Flannel all he day. He has like one day. for every day. Yeah, only flannel in his mm-hmm. closet. And so... He was doing something to Veronica's mom. <laughs> no, he wasn't! <laughs> I swear, the way the camera, like, like the way they like broke out when the guy walked in i'm like what were they doing <laughs> they were talking oh my god she was like sitting on the, on the on the desk i'm like what was that because i wasn't looking there i was like, looking at the guy that walked in and i'm like what were they doing Why were they like looking like around in the morning getting it in real quick i mean <laughs> no all right I mean, no all right all right i'll it's take that hermione okay <laughs> Um, so, so the guy comes by his like employer, <laughs> employee, and he's yeah. like, um, essentially Clifford Blossom, give us a sick Cliffies. deal. I love that name. And I gotta go. I gotta go because you can't guarantee me a job. So. Yeah, and Fred's so nice. He's like, I totally get it, bro. I totally get it. <laughs> Screw <laughs> me over, bro. I totally get it. <laughs> you gotta take that job. I totally he's like, get enjoy it. enjoy your life. Bye. So he's cheese now. Yeah. He's like, oh, well, well yeah, because he's like, I have no money now. And now he, like, can't start construction. He was supposed to start this big construction mm-hmm. job. Now he doesn't know people. Mm. So then it cuts to the high school again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the high school. Yeah. We're back at the, high school, at the high school. And again? Alice interrogates right, Veronica, Veronica and, and Betty. Betty and is like, so the sheriff just told me. That she's held up in your place. Like, can she not wait till after school? <laughs> like, why does she have to intrude on their school life? Yeah. Also, like, get home like, and the then curse them out. Time. Yeah. <laughs> they're in the lounge. <laughs> Let them be. So she gets really, really pissed. She's like, how dare you? And uh, Betty's basically like, what did you expect? You don't want her to be there. You don't like the baby. So what do you want yeah. to happen? And also, then, I think it's a little early to have a baby shower, but I'm just saying. Anyway. Like, I feel like she's, like, two months pregnant. <laughs> well, we don't know that. I think it's, like, three, four. Anyways, so she's, uh, so she invites her to the baby shower. Yeah. And Alice is like, oh, oh fuck no. And anyway, she kind of, like, stews on that. And that's the end of the scene. And then, like, Veronica just, like, has her, like, little. Ding. She's like, see what I did? She's like, I'm doing all these things for my friends. Um, so that's good. Then it cuts to. Archie's house again and now he's like cheese because like Fred is like crying oh my god Fred was totally crying he was so upset and he's like and then Archie 
annoyingly is like, why didn't you tell me about this though? He's like, I tell, I tell you everything. You don't tell me anything. And well, like, yeah, because he's the dad and you're the son. <laughs> like, that's a dynamic, parent and child. <laughs> you don't need to know like, you like money his problem. life. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have like, any money what, what were you gonna do yeah, what were you gonna do realistically well, he's gonna skip school you that's literally school. work for your dad during the summer like what money are you making yeah. that's gonna help your dad yeah. out also like low key like he just finished his date with Val which was like oh yeah true Val <laughs> 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 like Val exists I forgot yeah, remember so he was like he was like how's your date with Val oh is that what he said yeah he's like I got your pizza dad <laughs> I was like oh yeah they're together too yeah that's true it's like kind of like on the side Oh Archie! Oh Archie! So like he obviously you know he's gonna so about to go yeah, do d- like, some dumb shit. He's like, oh, you know my dad now. It's like just go stay and do your music. Like go get Grundy back because like you were more interesting at that time. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Um. So then it cuts to Ronnie's house. Hey Ronnie. Hey Ronnie. And they're all having brunch, early breakfast mm-hmm. with the mom like Hermione. Oh right, right, yeah. Polly and, and Polly, and they're talking about that shower dough. Mm-hmm. And it just like seems that. Hermione didn't also know about the shower. The shower. <laughs> I don't know. These are the questions that I wonder These about. Are the These are the questions. questions. Yeah. Let's pay for this damn shower. No, but also, they're talking about the shower, and mm. then Hermione's like, down, down, down. And then Veronica's <laughs> like, I'm going to invite Alice, yeah. and I'm going to invite Cheryl Blossom's mom. And I'm gonna No, I think Polly asked, which was really cute of Polly, too, because Polly was like, I want the Blossom family to be there. Like, oh, okay. It's like their baby, too, kind of. And then Hermione's like, Okay, hold up. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm about to like have she's drama like, in my she's house. Like, Ronnie, a word. <laughs> she like, like, let's oh her God. like go into the foyer. She's like, this is gonna be interesting. And then she's basically like, um, there's shit that can go down, yeah. and we can get caught in the crossfire because Archie's dad still doesn't know that Daddy's the buyer. Yes. I swear that she said it again, word for word. That's what she says. She said it again. Yeah, that's cool. Veronica, Veronica that's, said it. She She's says like, Archie's Daddy dad gonna... still doesn't know Daddy's the buyer. And I'm like, oh, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, here we go Hashtag, again. I'm oh, gonna, Daddy. I'm gonna start <laughs> dying on the subway right now. Um, and she, so Veronica asks her mom, like, can you please just like talk to Alice and talk some sense into her? And her mom's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, <laughs> She's like, like what? All right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, but I think she like does want. She's at the end. She's yeah, like, please she does, try. Like, yeah. please try. I feel like they were friends back in the day. I feel like they now were. that we know more about Frenemies. Alice, they must have like they've had. They've, they've had. They have history yeah. for yeah. sure. They have history. Um, then it cuts to Fred rolling up at Thorn Thornhill. Thornhill, and he's hey. <laughs> hey, uh, and uh, <laughs> Mr. Clifford, aka Clifford Blossom, aka he was still wearing what he wore to the freaking uh, yeah. uh, forest. This guy's like, like hunt. hunting all the time, yeah. apparently. So he, they talk it out, and he's like, "I'm gonna come for you." Fred, Fred. goes, "I'm gonna come for you because with you're coming from my family." I, he's like, "I'm gonna come for you with everything I have." And then Clifford goes, "What is it you have?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, burnt. Yeah, burnt. Yeah, burnt. <laughs> he's like, "Move your car." <laughs> he's like, Park somewhere else way, next bitch. time. Yeah, yeah, I was like, so damn. Rude, like, Fred, it's damn. true, though. Like, you're rolling up in flannel right now. Like, you, you're you not going to, like, beat this guy <laughs> at any game. So they still don't know who the mystery buyer is. At this point in time, he finds no out one, again. No <laughs> one knows except for Veronica's mom. Yeah. Veronica. And that's it. That's it. Okay. Um. Yeah, essentially. And the serpent guy. And the serpent guy, you're right. Um, uh, Jughead's Jug- dad. Jughead's dad. He knows because he helped like the deal along. Right, but he doesn't know. But yeah, Clifford doesn't know, and that's why he's going after yes, him because yeah. he's like, "That land was mine. You guys he's were like, being shady that too." That land was mine from time. Yeah. He's like, "I grew maple syrup on that shit." <laughs> I'm like, "Okay, but you own everything though." Like, let them have like, one can thing. Can you let them have one? It's like Monopoly. Like, I just want Boardwalk. You can have <laughs> anything else. You know. Is this that was mine. He's like, it. yeah, it was yours like freaking 400 years ago. Like, I can own it now. <laughs> and so then um, Fred family. rolls back into like his construction zone. Oh. And it's like, dun, 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 dun. Oh my God, work from home. <laughs> and then the boys come it. right through. Yeah, the boys come through. You don't gotta go to, uh. And then I like I need to sing that entire song, but I feel like it's gonna get copyrighted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but like seeing them roll up it was just so as cute. ridiculous yeah, as the Fifth Harmony music really video. <laughs> it was like, they I was like so first of all, it's like fourth period. You should be in class right <laughs> yeah. now. Like, what are you doing at your dad? It's actually like, hilarious because Fred books he it himself. It. He's he like, had to. he's like, don't you guys have better things to yeah, do? Yeah. Like, go to school. I was gonna be like, come on, dad. Like, yeah. What the hell? Like, even if it was a weekend, I would be like, okay, I get it. This is all happening during a weekday. Yeah, I mean, yeah, as much as we know, yeah. I guess. <laughs> it's ridiculous 
and then yeah like, and then Archie's no like, shade oh, but Moose is really cute by the way Loki I like it yeah Moose is pretty cute I, I think he's I'm, really I'm, cute. I'm, I ain't mad at that yeah um but, but I was gonna say, don't hate me, guys. Oh but no, it's coming. I know. I didn't love I Jughead's. I know. In, in the tank top. In the tank top. Yeah. He's really pasty white, but that's okay. It's not even it's that. Okay. It's just like his like bone he's structure. He's, <laughs> like, he's not like Archie. Archie's more like buff. He's like fit. Even Kevin's like pretty buff too. Yeah, he's like yeah. pretty Jack. His frame is like Cole Sprouse's okay. frame is just like Cole Sprouse's frame, and he's perfect for Jughead, but like not in a wife beater. Yeah, but he was like helping his friend out. Yeah. So. I mean, it's okay. We ain't mad at it. <laughs> yeah, like I support you. Also, that looks like a lot of work too. Like, and there was like six <laughs> guys there. I was like, I think you need more men. <laughs> yeah, like what are you guys gonna do realistically? Yeah. Like, dig one hole like yeah. a, every three days or something. And I'm like, isn't that like unsafe? Like to have like children. I was gonna <laughs> say like around. the legal aspect because that's how we think here on Recap Rewind. <laughs> we think about every it's like, possible. Situation. Where's the consent form? It's like they're <laughs> yeah. not consenting adults. And if something happens, they use, like, they're a gonna, jackhammer around, they're going to die. something did happen. Moose got beat the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> we'll get back to that later. So, first we go to Pop Steiner. And uh, it shows Alice and Hermione talking. Right. And uh, she's like, come to the shower or you're going to regret it. I love that Hermione's now like, I don't work here anymore, so I can eat here. <laughs> she's like, I upgraded. <laughs> she's like, I don't have to wear dining clothes no more. <laughs> I just come here for brunch. I can brunch. sit in the booth. Yeah, yeah. So, this was a really cute scene. Yeah, it was nice because you you're right because you see that kind of dichotomy that they have between each other, Alice and Hermione, yeah. and like that history that they kind of have. And so she's like, yeah, just come through for your daughter because you're you're gonna regret it. And later. I think it's more about <clears throat> like it's always Alice mm-hmm. and you know Betty or whatever, and to have this like mom to mom conversation because yeah. Hermione was like like alice was like we, like this can't happen how is she gonna raise a kid ronnie's like but we did yeah, it too yeah. like that was our life too like yeah. why can't she do it it's That's cute just and happens. it is cute to see them in the booth because we have that also that moment in the pilot where it's like veronica and betty like yes i, I feel like they really signer. had a friendship back in the day and then something happened that like a guy came in the middle of the two you mean like an archie <laughs> like, yeah, probably but you know what i mean like yeah. they had, there's a connection there and like alice was like really cute like For finally sure. she was like really cute finally like normal normal and then we come back to the construction zone and they're all like celebrating for like a long day's work. It's like nighttime. They're like, yes, like, we yeah, did we like two like- things. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Moose is like, wait one second, guys. And just kind of like, where was phone. his phone? I, didn't understand. I have no idea why you would have left yeah. your phone like what on the floor <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at a construction zone. If anything, it would have been in the trailer. Exactly. Anyway, whatever. We're getting too into it. Okay, whatever. So Sorry, he goes guys. outside. And in the meanwhile, while he's outside, he's like, he sees someone like, or two people bashing in the generator. And uh, that like, has the power for the entire construction right. zone. So now all the lights are out. And he's like, hey, hey, hey. He's like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> and then they obviously come after him with crowbars and they beat him the fuck up. They like beat him down. So they all run out and they're like, what the hell just happened to you? So then they call the police. And then it cuts to them getting ready for the shower. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Or, like, they're just at the penthouse. Mm. And essentially, Polly asks Betty to be oh, the god's so mother. Cute. She's like, yes. She's like, She's like yes, Avi. please. She's like, thanks. And then it, cu- <laughs> then it cuts <laughs> once again <laughs> to Archie. And he wants to do something for his dad. He doesn't know what he needs to do. But oh he needs to do something now. He's so like, extra. he's like, oh my god, there's someone that like attacked my like dad's company, and like oh, I need to do this, something. Was this the scene when they're in the diner and yeah. Archie rolls up to them and he's like, "Do you have my back?" Is yeah, that the scene. Yeah, yeah, that's the scene. That was a really good scene. I really like that one. Did you really? Because <laughs> I was like, "What's he gonna do? Like, what's Jughead gonna do?" Yeah. He kind of chose Betty. He chose yeah. Betty, but he also didn't choose. The stupid thing to do no no which I'm is not, whatever I'm not, archie was gonna i'm not do. saying that he should have chose archie it was just the whole dynamic of the For situation because sure. i think like also archie definitely expected him to get up and walk away with him and then he's like no he's like, I'm just gonna like moss here yeah yeah and archie's like cool bye chicks over dicks yeah what you gonna do and like how yeah, about that i feel like archie's like feeling some type of way yeah maybe i mean i feel like it's gonna start like it's starting slowly but yes, surely the rumblings like, like starting Creating a wedge. Especially in the beginning when he was like already giving them that look. I was right. like, oh. Shit. I mean, yeah, things change by the end of the episode, but sure. True. But at the same time, the entire time I was watching that, I was like, Archie, just sit like, down, what are you doing have a milkshake, too? Like, and like, don't do something stupid. But you're going to go do something stupid, which is what you do. 
you go and do something stupid. So he's like, I'm going to go check That's out this. what I do. I'm going to go check out this place where the serpents, serpents uh, chill. And we're going to identify that we're going to get Moose to identify one of them. And he's like, I'm not coming with you. So then he dips. He goes to this bar. And <laughs> I can't. I can't. Like, even thinking about it makes me so angry. So <laughs> um, Archie's like, is it that guy? He sees the back of his yeah, head. Yeah, like, Moose is like, all. I don't know. He's like... He's like, I don't know, he kind of looks familiar. Like, yeah, you guys live in a small town. Like, you yeah. probably saw him, like, buying groceries the other day. Like, we don't know. And then he, like, Archie, he like, comes up to him. To guy. He pulls him. He pulls him around, and he's, he's like, like, oh. You like beating up kids. Yeah. The guy's like, what the hell are you then, talking about? I'm and then he says something that I you. noticed. He was like, this isn't the first time one of you bulldogs came in here to yeah. cause some trouble, AKA which like was AK Jason. Jason. But also, like, he's causing drama again. Right. <laughs> they must and it's all, like, funny you're finding like no one else booked that yeah like not even archie booked that yeah i guess it's not as relevant just yet because like, i mean it kind of is like then archie would have known that like jason was involved with the serpent but we already know i mean the police already know that so it doesn't really matter oh, what Ar- true, at this true. point it doesn't matter what matter what archie, archie knows because he knows <laughs> things last yeah. anyway he's only getting it's it true. now anyways so then he's about to get into a fight and then jughead's dad comes through and he's like move out of the way y'all He's like, I'll take care of this. And then he kicks out the kids mm-hmm. before they get their asses Beat handed up. to them. So is he like the king of like the serpent? I, kind of, I think. I think they answer to a bigger serpent, but I'm sure he's like oh, one of the okay. top guys. So um, Jughead's dad like grabs Archie and he's like, you stay here. And then Fred rolls up. And then he's like, Archie, get the fuck in the car. <laughs> get in the car right now. He's really, really pissed. Um, and he's like, good job, Archie. Failure at life. <laughs> like, what yeah. the hell did you do? Like, even like, I was like, the entire doing? time, like, what are you go, doing? Go, go see Val. Like, why are you doing this extra shit? It's so unnecessary. I know that you're trying to help your dad but, like, out, but stop happening. it. And now, now Jughead's dad has to have some real talk with Archie's dad. And it's just like... <sighs> like again he's like sorry about it i didn't tell you this secret either but now your son knows and i'm just like yeah i'm a serpent so <laughs> <laughs> baby shower baby shower baby shower it was cute it was a very cute scene i'm glad they like did it um jugs is adorable just but like right off the top actually like, but so actually cute, so though. adorable like what's he doing like, ooh, oh she's like where like, did he come from he's just the cutest person she's like ever. i know this is not your jam and he's <sighs> like this is not my jam He's like he was being so like yeah, adorably yeah. sarcastic. Really oh, cute. they're so cute together. And then Alice comes in. Yeah. And have a moment. It was very she was emotional. Like, this episode was very, very, emo- very real, very emotional. Yeah. I was like tearing up. In Hashtag a lot of, like, mommy like, issues. Yeah. yeah. So like she's like, hey mom. He's, she's like, I'm glad you're safe and the baby's safe. And they're like, bah. so they're hugging. And this then is the best it's like. Part. <laughs> Doosh. And the then, door, like, swings like literally, open. Cheryl kicks the door down, and she's like, "We're here!" With like this crazy, <laughs> expensive, like carriage. With this carriage and all these gifts. I was dying. And like the of nana, the nana. And the nana and the mom. They <laughs> the all come through at the up. same time. Um, her wheelchair is really freaky looking. Yeah, it's very like old school. I'm like <laughs> yes. for a family that is like super rich, you think they have like some robot? It's one. like a wooden like wheelchair yeah. <laughs> yeah like you guys can, can, Anyways, couldn't upgrade her they just like wheel her off to the food and they leave her there like <laughs> so mean to her um and then at Cheryl bombshell's mom she apologizes to polly yeah did you She's believe like, her no i don't believe that was them. smart of you to do that I mean, I, I believe Cheryl 100. Like, I think she's Yeah, like, she's, she's cool, got a good intention. She's but super like, innocent. But, like, the parents for sure have definitely, like, other, like, motives. Yeah. She essentially says, like, I'm sorry for, like, basically wanting to steal the baby. <laughs> 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 and uh, sorry about that. And uh, you have my full support. You can come to Thornhill whenever you're like. like, cool. I want the monies. <laughs> she's like, thanks. Dollar sign. Um, and then uh, Fred apologizes to jugs for like all the shit that's going down sorry jugs. jughead's dad jughead's dad sorry cut to another so while scene. they're having like that conversation yeah he's like cool cool okay he's bye, like cool bro. cool and then he's also like you should keep an eye on that your boy though yeah. and then he's like true true he thanks turns around. thanks dude bye he turns around and archie's gone archie's not in <laughs> the fucking like, car he's gone. anymore he just ran his ass away you know what archie needs right now you know what he needs like real bad a leash <laughs> 
<laughs> he needs a full out smackdown. <laughs> like bring back. No, he needs Val to like reel back discipline. in. She needs to like get on her man right she now. Need, he needs to get his face slapped like a few times. Yeah. I can't believe this kid. He needs his He's mom back. Mm. Wink, wink. <laughs> his mommy needs to come back. He's got mommies. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> it doesn't work with mommies. All right, all right. Um, so we come back to the baby shower, and Nana Blossom is crazy, first of all, <laughs> and adorable. She's so cute. But also, she's, like, doing some, like, weird, like, witchy shit <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> on absolutely. the baby's, like, stomach. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she I was, like, so she thinks that she's having twins. She's Are like, we gonna have is twins? it a girl or a boy? And they're, like, ooh. And then she's, like, it's twins. And they're, like, oh, <laughs> Nana, you're so smart. Oh, so she's, like, this is really weird. Time to put her to bed. And then, of course, <laughs> Alice is, like, tired. Alice looks at that shit and she's, like, that freaking, like, evil, like, voodoo shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like, don't do crazy shit in front of Alice. She's yeah, really she's trying gonna to, like, be, like, sketched out. For sure. <laughs> you can't do that And then her. they, like, start opening gifts. Yeah. Which and was the cutest. Which was so cute. So freaking cute. So then she, so Polly opens up her mom's, and it was, like, her old nightlight Night from, like, time. Yeah. And it's so adorable. Like, because it's when she used to get scared. And yeah. And mom's like, I didn't want you to be scared anymore. And then she's like, let me, like, pass this down to your child. Ugh. And everyone's like, that is like, oh adorable. God, broke my heart. And then and right then, before. And then Cheryl Blossom's mom was like, okay, but, like, like look Check at ours. I'm like, oh my god, here we go. It's gonna be something like next level, like Cartier, like necklace. <laughs> like, and I was like so down to like see what she got her. And then, and then freaking Archie walks in. Like Archie, like, where did you come? What from? are you? Get out of here, dude. How did you get here so fast? You're not allowed at this party. Because you're you on the invited. other side of town. Like, did you run? Did you take an Uber? He, what happened? He Ubered. <laughs> he definitely Ubered. But like, he what? Go into away. this baby shower with this room of women who are literally opening gifts. He finds Jughead in the corner. Oh my god. He's like, you lied to me, bro. And then, like, Betty and Veronica, like, run so quickly, like, to their side. They're like, guys, like, just stop fighting, like, whatever. Not even stop fighting. Like, Veronica was, like, pissed, which, f- for a good reason. Yeah, like, what are you even Archie, doing Archie, get here? out of there. What is wrong with you? This is, like, so not the moment to do this oh, right now. So extra. I wanted to, like, slap him so hard. I'm telling you, this kid needs to get he's punched. like, you knew your dad was a serpent? And he's like, bro, like, it's my dad. Like, obviously, I know that. And also, like, this is not a good time to, like, hash our shit <laughs> out, like, at a fucking like, I'll party. Like, later. We live in the same bedroom. <laughs> We'll talk about this after. <laughs> like, I can't. Whatever. Anyway, Archie, just go away. Then I think he does leave. He leaves. For sure. He gets like, <laughs> side-eye from Veronica. I can't. And then, and then, it just, like, continues and gets worse from oh, there. This is when, like, everything went down. Downhill. And the whole time, I'm trying to listen to see what freaking Blossom's mom yeah, got I know for what the they kids. Got. Yeah. Like, some car- some cartier, like, necklace. I'm like, I'm down gifts. for that. But instead, but it was, no, like, some random It was, like, some horse. horse some Trojan that, like, horse or something. Yeah, it's, like, old, like, rocking chair horse. And uh, oh, yeah, and then Alice was bad. like, Alice was like, I don't want your like, what's what did you call it, bed bug like toy yeah. horse? Well, yeah, in my but daughter's essentially, room. essentially, it uh, it stems from Cheryl saying, or Cheryl Blossom's mom saying, you can stay at Thornhill whenever, whenever you, you want. want yeah. You guys are always like welcome here. And then Alice just like turns into like mommy guardian mode, and she's like, how dare you try to like slap a blank check in front of my daughter's face and like think that that's okay I'm like you're a monster i hate you so it's already like starting to bubble and <laughs> it's, <already laughs> to bubble. it's all there and so um what happens oh yeah and then cheryl's mom turns around and is like well i'm not the one who put my yeah, daughter into a right. mental asylum it's like you freaking like sent your daughter away on top of that when she came back and you didn't even want her yeah. why is she living here yeah. why is she not living at home yeah so sometimes and Alice was, was like true get, true so then they get up in each other's face like they stand up from their chairs and that's when you know she's like how it's not dare you down. yeah she like literally like alice cooper was ready to smash her so yeah she gets up in her face Things are like about to like hit the fan, and then Polly gets really upset, and she's like, "Stop, she's like, guys! St- this part really made me really." Because then she's like, "This is the reason why like, Jason died." Yeah, you and, guys and are if you actually so think selfish. about it, it's true, right? Because she's yeah. like, "If we weren't trying to run away from both of you guys, yeah, then he, he wouldn't be have been alive. dead. Like he wouldn't have gotten shot." Yeah. So yeah, and then she like walks out of the situation, and I, and then at that point in time, I was like, "Damn." I would not have wanted to be at the rest of that party because <laughs> yeah. it would have gotten real awkward real quick. Yeah. And so then everybody's cleaning up and like, you know, it just kind of like flashes to that. And then um, Alice goes to Polly and apologizes for sending her away. 
Cause no, clearly and it was cute because like Alice was like beside Betty. Yeah. And Betty's like, Mom, just go talk to her. And Alice is like, okay, okay. Like like Betty has to like, like control she has to everyone. Like initiate the situation. Um and then she was like, I want you to come home. That's like I want that more than anything else. You and the baby, I don't really care. I just want you home with me. And then Polly like drops a little bomb. Huge bombshell. And she's like, Well, is dad going to book an appointment for me? And we're all like, what? I'm like, what the hell is she talking about? And so Alice is like, what are you trying to what say? What appointment? And then she was like, yeah, well, dad said that he booked an appointment for me. Like before I was sent away, he had made an appointment with the doctor. To get rid and of gonna the baby. he was going to pay for it. Baby. Did she say rid of the baby, though? She I said, get like rid of was, the mistake. Yeah. She was like alluding to it. And, and then Alice's face was like, she's like, oh, what the what? fuck? Her face was like more white. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Even more shit. white than it was like, before. Some shit's about to go yeah, down. Yeah. She's not, she did you not know, know about Alice that Cooper, plan. If her husband makes a move without her consent, like yeah. she's about to flip some tables. Yeah. She's like, where'd you get those balls from, huh? Yeah. Like, where did they grow in? <laughs> where like, they, where did they come? I thought they were in a jar in my room. <laughs> <laughs> so. But then we realized why. Yeah. She got cheesed. Oh, God. Then so then we cut to Archie again. Every moment in Every the Archie, Archie household like, is like super sad moments. So Fred is obviously like waiting in the kitchen. He's like now he's like legit crying. He's yeah. like sobbing. Archie's like <laughs> Archie's like hey dad. It's like I'm sorry I like ran all the way to another party instead of waiting in the car like you told me to. He's like before you, before you get mad at me, I'm sorry. Like this kid has what literally this is why the kid is the way he is because yeah. like Fred does not know he how says, to. He says I'm sorry him. and then it's like whatever. And then like Fred is like falling apart here. He's like yeah, he's, he's like I've been pouring concrete and laying brick all my life. He's like, this he's is like, my life. He's like this is all I know how to do. Oh, but Archie was super cute though. This scene was really cute. That part so. kind of annoyed me though because I felt like he was like reaching for a scenario. He must have had baby fever when he walked into that damn shower. <laughs> yeah, maybe. He was like, Dad, when I have my kid, and his dad's like, Wait, what? Like, You're not gonna have a kid for a long time, okay, son? <laughs> and then he's like, Yeah, if I have a kid and like he doesn't want to listen to cute, music, though. and it was like cute. he wants to like do concrete, then like he can come to you. And like, then Fred's like, True, I'm so cool. <laughs> like it was cute. It was cute, but also like a reach. For it me. was a reach, for but me, like I'm telling like, you, he was like that. he had baby fever, and he was like, That's true. Down for a baby that's true and then jugs and benny again Aww. Yay. um jugs apologizes to betty for not telling, telling her the, the truth, truth yeah about the dad and she's like but why don't you tell me and he's like i was, was obviously embarrassed, embarrassed yeah. her. and um she's like that's okay then they have like a little moment whatever and then uh he's like well now we have to talk to your dad because he knows shit about jason potentially and this whole serpent deal and like what had happened so then they go to the dad's house the trailer Jug, park. Jug's dad's house mm-hmm. trailer park <laughs> home and so he gives him the tea on like what happened and he's like basically jason came to the serpents and he wanted money fast and he, they gave him the money when he didn't come through with the the last like the last order or whatever, whatever yeah. he, they assumed that he like ran away with the drugs but then his body showed up so essentially, he did didn't kill him. So they didn't kill him, but Jughead didn't care to like he cared to ask anyway. So he looked at his dad and he was like, "Did you mm. kill Jason Blossom?" Jason Blossom. And the dad kind of tears up, and because he's like, I wasn't sure if he was tearing up because he's like also being a little bit more like serpenty and snaky, mm. or he feels betrayed by his son. I don't for, know how to think about him. I really don't. Like, I didn't point, know if he was being genuine in that moment. Yeah. And I, I mean, and that, and that's why Jug asked him like straight up, bull face, because he's like, "Why would you say that?" He's like, "Dude, I know that you're my dad, but like these are dark times. Like well, shit, ev- shit's happening." Everyone's you know? been asking their da- their damn parents if they killed. I know. Boss, I was so. just gonna say every parent so far has already asked yeah. like, who, "Who's in? How's? How are they but involved in Jason's?" The only death. reason why I don't think that is just because I feel like the serpents didn't kill Jason. I feel like that's too predictable. Yeah. So I really don't think he had anything to do with it. I mean, we'll see. Because at the end, it's still yeah, it a sounded few questions. shady. Yeah. So yeah, then, then they're like, "Okay, thanks, Dad. Bye." They leave, and then um, Jugs asks Betty, like, "Oh, like, did you think that he was telling the truth?" And she's like, "I trust you. So if you believe him, then I believe him too." And then they have like a little kiss, and then the lens flare comes through. Oh, with, like, the <laughs> sunshine or whatever it was, like the sunset. Wait, I'm like waiting for all the gifs and, and all then, the like, thumbnails. And like it was like the moment, you know, <laughs> yeah. like it was just cute. They're just they're so cute. the best part of this yeah, show so they far. Really just, like, are. Such a nice. And I love honestly story. never thought it was gonna be that. I know, right? Like, it really is. It's just a nice like surprise. completely out of nowhere. Um, and then Alice, <laughs> Alice cut to 
Alice oh Cooper's God, house. Such a good scene. She's posed. First of all, I'm pretty sure that these guys can't say abortion. Like it feels like they're not. Oh, maybe. Like I guess CW or like they're just not saying abortion yeah. at all in the show. They're like, did yeah, you I think you're right. go to the doctors and take care of this mistake and do it behind my back? Like she'd never said abortion, which is what he was trying to do. And she loses it on him. She loses it. And for good reason, because we also find out that she's like, did you actually tell my daughter to have an abortion when you told me to do the same yeah. thing for our she's kid? Like, she looked at him. She's like, you ended up doing it. eh?" She's like, you did exactly what you did to me. Yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> my God. Like my stomach like sank. And I was, I was like, like <gasps> that's why she feels some like real type of way about it. Yeah. Because they were high school sweethearts. sweethearts right? Yeah. So like she must have gotten pregnant at some point. But since when did the, does the freaking dad have that kind of say ever. i know and that's why i was kind of surprised because i was like he's never like, been you like were this ready yeah he's like i don't know and i was like whoa he's so bossy all of a sudden yeah. we haven't seen this, this side of him i feel before. like they're like marissa's family of the show like from the oc like mm. they're that style because like they True. like divorce eventually and like <laughs> yeah. they, they were like the picture perfect family like at and then first. it kind of all fell yeah. apart you know kind of see right. that kind of correlation and then anyways and then and then the mom is like alice is like get out of my house if my daughter's coming home i don't care but and then he's like, never yeah he's like i will never have I a will never. baby that's like half yeah. blossom in my freaking house this guy's she's like, like get the fuck out. angry yeah he was like pissed and then she made a comment but i was like it's pretty like obvious that it's like not bad what? she was like she's like you know what I'll do. You know what I'm capable yeah, of. Yeah, you know what I'm capable of. I'm like, of. okay, relax. You didn't kill Jason. Like, we know that. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then he's you're like, to that. and then he's like, but what will people think? That, like, She's I'm like, I don't give a shit. She's like, I don't give a shit anymore. Like, I oh my f- God. My yeah, seriously. So Who then the she, fuck ki- cares? she kicks him out and she's like, you better not be here when she comes back. And then, um, so before it cuts to the, that final scene, um, Archie's just loving up on his guitar. He's like, bling, 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 bling. And Juggs comes home from this whole full night of like doing stuff with, with, Betty. with Betty. And like, he even put in work on the side. Like, what has Archie d- done yeah, all like day? Jughead except is daddy play his sure. guitar. <laughs> like, Archie, I don't know what Archie is right now. Plays guitar, fucks shit up, screams at him like in an appropriate time. It's like, what did you do with your day? Yeah. Like, Jughead comes back to this, like, back to his room and he apo- and he's the one that apologizes somehow yeah i was kind of cheesy about that whole situation but he's like yeah i'm sorry i didn't tell you earlier and then <laughs> he says something kind of cute though he's like um or she's like you're like my my he's brother like, he's like, you're my brother yeah and then he calls it a bro whisper he's like wow nice bro whisper yeah, yeah. he's like and then jughead says it louder and he's like you are my brother so cute so it's really nice to yeah, see that kind so of cute. like friendship between the, the between the two of them which is really nice then it cuts to da, 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 the serpent the serpent and um the serpent boy <laughs> serpent guy. gay boy kevin's, <laughs> kevin's boyfriend kevin's man and uh the dad jug's dad and he's like take the jacket the jason jacket as insurance for whatever shit might essentially go down. like if anything goes down the jacket is like evidence that like we didn't do it or like something right but how is that we didn't do it or is it insurance insurance is that like collateral like he said insurance but like i don't know for like why because mm. i asked the same question like why would you keep the jacket if it's gonna be that like a pivot that much of a pivotal situation i don't, I don't know why know. they would yeah i don't know what that means so badly anyway so the serpent yeah, boy says um he's like i'm still keeping an eye on kevin so essentially that's his role as a yeah, serpent I was like, so, so he's cheesed. like sneaking him literally sneaking he's sneaking him. him and but then he's also like but this guy like kind of likes me a lot like he's like kevin likes yeah. me a lot and the guy's like well we all have a part to play he's like i'm basically yeah, fucking FP, over my son FP's so he's like yeah what yeah. you gonna do like we all gotta do something but the fact that he said we all got a part to play kind of made me start thinking like this is a larger situation like this is bigger than themselves but with who though i don't know this is what we were gonna get to at the very end um and then the serpents come through for fred the next morning so yeah, like they show up like on the so that was like, kind of nice home video yeah but then they're like adults work, work from yeah home video. they're like supposed to be there yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he's like i'll do i'll take care of it for you don't worry like we're gonna get set up and stuff um and then he's like let me just do some paperwork with hermione he's like she's like come over here and then so she t- he gives him the tea on um like who who broke that shit down at the construction who site does? uh f- pf fp <laughs> <laughs> 
So FP and Hermione are talking. FP and Hermione are talking and up, as they're going up the hill. And then essentially he's he's like, I looked into who uh, broke down the generator because yeah. they thought that it was a serpent, but it wasn't. Right. But then he's like, my guys found out that it was people that they knew from like uptown, upstate. Montreal. Montreal, MTL. And so um, she's like, uh-oh. He's like, you know who is an MTL. Yeah. And she's like, oh, my husband, true. Yeah. So then it turns out that, like, now that there's that extra connection. So her husband fucked shit up, essentially. Fucked shit up. So, yeah, what um, FP is essentially saying is that someone found out about Fred and her. Yeah. And he's, like, pissed yeah. about what's happen- what's about to go down. So he's like, she's like, but why is this happening and then he's like, you're going to have to figure out, like, who told your secret. Because, like, that's a bigger situation, yeah. too. Who do you think it was? I mean, right away, I thought Veronica. Because yeah. I'm like, she, to- she told her daddy. Yeah. But uh, I almost feel like she's she's told everyone about yeah. it. So, like, I feel like there's a lot of people that know. Like, Kevin knows now. Like Wait, that whole daddy call that they had last time. Yeah, like, like, what happened? Last time. Like, they didn't play it. They, 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 no, didn't, they didn't play, play it, it. So they don't we know, like, what they voice. said. No. <laughs> they didn't say, like, no, no. hey, no. daddy. I'm doing this deal. That's weird, know. right? Yeah. They, I feel like they would have cleared that shit up. No? Yeah, because I think the whole point of the conversation was to call him to be like, we did this like low-key deal. And I, and I, did it, and I forged and the Veronica's forged, signature. Yeah, I think that's what they were going to say to him. Yeah, so I did that conversation. No, but happen? I guess they Didn't still told him, through. but he's she's that like, she's she's effing Fred. Oh, she's pissed. He's so pissed. The so husband, probably. The husband's pissed. So she already knows. Hermione already knows that Fred is pissed. Not Fred. No. What am I saying? Hiram Lodge found out about Fred and Hermione. Is that his name? Yeah, Hiram. <laughs> Hiram. And he pro- he's probably cheesed about the affair, not yeah. like the fact that they did this like low key deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then it comes to it cuts to like Betty talking to Polly yeah. like one last time, and she's like, come "Please come home. home. Like, mom really wants you home. Like, dad's not gonna be there, and like, it's gonna be f- like fun. Like, us three but women and whatever. We'll get a cat. <laughs> we'll be, like just be like golden girls." <laughs> And then, and then Polly's like, "Cool, cool, like, like dad's yeah, not gonna be really there." Yeah, it's a sad montage though. And I'm like, "Sick!" I'm like, "They're all gonna live together." And then, and then it cuts to like, Thornhill. She, she like rolls up like in the in the cab, and she gets out. I don't know why she's in a fucking cab. And the music. We should have like, like guessed it right then. Super heavy. And then she like rolls up to Thornhill. Yeah. And then and then the blossoms are like, "Come, come hither." Come hither. And, and then like, she like closes the door so like creepy. a creepy. And then like, oh, it broke my heart. The mom is like. Like Alice was like Alice, bawling. Alice go, like Betty goes to Alice and she's like, I'm sorry, mom, I tried. And I like even Betty's mom. upset. She yeah. was like so sad about it too. It's pretty tight. It was and then tight. Alice is like breaking down because she's like everything I tried she's to like do, like my whole family's like fucked yeah. up. Like my husband's not even here, and my daughter's not here, and they're living with like. It's my gonna. I think enemy. it's definitely gonna get worse for them. I feel like. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, it's pretty bad already. Like I don't think it can get any worse than this right now. <laughs> If you've seen, if you've seen Marissa from the Olsen's <laughs> family, it gets worse. So I definitely think it's good. It, it'll get worse. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and then that's the end of the episode. And then we get some shady, like, side eye look from um, Cheryl Blossom's mom, Mama mm. Blossom, as she closes the door of the yeah. Thornhill house. I don't know, man. I don't know what they're going to do with her. <clears throat> so questions. Predictions. Like, what do you guys think that's going to happen What's with happen? Polly? Yeah. Now she's in the is hands Polly of these safe? people. She's definitely going to be, like, trapped. Like, they're not going to let her out of that freaking house. Yeah, but sure. what's going to happen now? Like, is she going to brainwash her? Do you think she's going to go back to high school? Do you think she's going to brainwash her? I don't know. Do you think that they're going to dye her hair red? We've talked about this. <laughs> do you imagine Riverdale with this baby? Uh, I think I do. You do now? I think I do. I yeah. don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel what about the, it. What are they going to do? They're going to cut this baby twins? out? Like, what's going to happen? Like there's twins now? I don't know, man. I just think that, like, I feel like the babies need to come through now. Like, I think it's just like, they or had a baby shower. Or something's <laughs> going to happen and she dies. Like, Polly dies with Ooh, the baby. Polly disappears again. <sighs> no. Ooh. I feel like something tragic is probably going to happen. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe she'll die giving birth and, like, the baby's, like, the only oh, thing man. Like that. I don't know. It's so dark. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 um. What else is there? So... What do you think the um, involvement of the serpents is into yeah, like Jason's situation? Look, I really think that Grundy had something <laughs> to do with everything. I really do. Like, I feel like she's Bring like the, Grundy. she's like the missing link. Justice for Grundy. And as we were talking, I was like, um, so I think that like the way Jason died, maybe it wasn't supposed to be Jason. It was supposed to be Archie, and like, yeah, you know, yeah, we talked about that. Um, 
and maybe like i don't know maybe what's his face fp was like screwing like grundy too at the same time <laughs> and like that shit got mixed up i don't know oh i feel like she is a key to like this circle of yeah. things i feel yeah. like something happened that day and, and i don't think it's just the drugs because i feel like that's too predictable yeah. it's too obvious that oh yeah he was a drug dealer and he got shot like okay big deal <laughs> like, and that it being has said, to be something more tragic um do you believe everything fp said and no. if not then what is a lie and what is the truth no i mean fp could also be lying to the serpents right like he could be playing a playing a role for the serpents like to be like i'm agent? still hard i'm still like a gangster yeah but like i'm trying to get my life together like loki like i don't know you don't know <laughs> but like what did you anyway because yeah, maybe he does want to be a good dad to his kid like we don't know we're yeah. just like seeing him as like this evil like person sure sure we don't know that's a fair point point. and when are we gonna see daddy I don't know, but like daddy has to come soon. I feel like it needs he to happen. He has to come quick. soon, but like how? He's gonna be in jail still. Daddy he like, Lodge. He like stole all that money. I don't know. Well it seems like he has connections, so I bet you well, he's, it seems he's, gonna, like he's, like, he's gonna got, break out of prison. His arms like go pretty far far beyond the jail cell. Anyway. So he's like coming for Hermione anyhow. Daddy's got big arms. <laughs> big hands. Big hands. <laughs> Had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think he needs I think he'll come. Like, Hiram Lodge will come somewhere in season one, I feel like. By the end of season one. By the end of season he'll one. He'll show up. Yeah, I mean, we're only about halfway through. Yeah. So, so that's... I think that's it for me. What, what do you guys, guys think? Like, what do you guys think right now? What's what's happening? This was a really heavy episode. I'm down for next <laughs> yeah, week to be, like... a little lighter. ...fun. But also, we know that chapter 10, like, episode 10, is going to be, like, a house party. Ooh, so, yeah. that'll be fun to watch. So, maybe next week will be, like, more, like, low-key, too. Mm-hmm, we'll see. Mm-hmm we don't know it's gonna be so exciting so let us know what you guys think tweet us at recap underscore rewind and subscribe to our itunes yeah, podcast if you like what we're saying cool thanks bye, bye. <laughs>